morning students good morning sir do you know what special day it is today yes you tell you wrong sir i know sir today is world forest day yes you wrong that was correct does anyone of you know why we celebrate world forest day what no one knows we celebrate world forest day because forests are important to us for this purify a and regarding this topic i am going to give you a project in this project you need to include all the subjects and tell about this topic aniket animesh shivang sohamban chirag swastika and swara you are in one group i'll give you two weeks time to complete this project okay sir Today I am going to tell you how trees purify air with the help of mats. For this, I have taken the average pollution level of AQI of a forested area and of a non-forested area. The average pollution of a forested area, like Madhya Pradesh, is 36 AQI, which is considered very good. While the average pollution level of a huge concrete jungle like Delhi is 378 AQI, which is considered very unhealthy and harmful. This graph can tell us the average pollution level of Delhi, and you can see for yourselves how bad it is. India lost nearly 14 percent of its entire forest cover in 2021. This graph will show the average pollution level of India from 2001 to 2010. You can see that the pollution level is slowly but surely increasing. More than 15 billion trees are cut down per year around the world, and more than 9 million people die due to air pollution. This graph will tell you the different ways of how air pollution is caused. Now to stop this rising wave of air pollution we should keep planting trees we should make earth a green beautiful and a happy place nicely explained my name is chirag and i will speak about forest on the subject hindi pravat sir aur mere pyare dosto main chirag hu aaj kaksha shatri aur aaj aapko ek kavita sunane wala hu jiska naam hai jangal aur jeevan आओ मिलकर पेड़ लगाए पेड़ लगा कर जंगल उगाए जंगल से शुद्ध हवा मिलेगी अमृत तुल्य दवा मिलेगी होगा जब जंगल घना काले घने बादल बनेंगे उमर घुमर फिर काले बादल बन बारे जमकर बरसेंगे लहलहाए कि खेतों में फसले फसलों से शुद्ध अन्न मिलेगा शुद्ध अन्न शुद्ध आहार मिलेगा खाकर तन तंदुरुस्त बनेगा रोग मुक्त जीवन होगा फिर खुशियों से जीवन खिलेगा धन्यवाद बहुत अच्छी कविता Hello everyone I'm Swara Prasad of class 7th and today I'm going to tell about forest on the subject social science There are many forests in India some of them are moist tropical forest dry tropical forest montane temperate forest and montane subtropical forest Moist tropical forest Moist tropical forest are forest found in Assam, Western Ghats and coastal line of the peninsula of India. They have hot climate and heavy rainfall throughout the year of the forest composition is dominated by evergreen and semi deciduous tree like bamboo and balsam. The biodiversity is highest in the canopy. Some of the animals found in this forest are blue moth or butterfly, poison dart frog and jaguar. Dry tropical forest These forests occur in places with warm climates like Rajasthan, Punjab and Haryana. Sometimes they get a lot of rain too. They have long dry seasons that last several months and there are some seasonal drought in these forests and they have a very huge impact on all living organisms in these forests like mountain ebony and teak shed their leaves during the drought to conserve water during the dry period. The less biological Traverse the rainforest is a home to a wide variety of wildlife including monkeys, deer and large cats. Montane temperate forest. These forests are found in the southern slopes of Himalayas and are characterized by pine, silver fir and cedar trees. The annual rainfall of this forest varies from 150 to 250 cm. Fine wood is provided by them which is of great use for timber and construction. Montane subtropical forest. These forests are found in eastern Himalayas. Some of the significant trees of this forest are 
cinnamon, timber, laburnum, olive, and oleander. The annual rainfall varies from 75 cm to 125 cm. Some animals found in this forest are snow leopard, red, red panda, and wild sheep. Some movements related to forests are Chipko movement, Apiko movement, Silent Valley movement, and Bishnoi movement. Nicely done. Good morning. My name is Anjumes Kokati and my subject is English. I am going to recite a poem that is going to tell us about the importance of trees. When the earth was green, the air was very clean. Then came the machine and changed the whole scene. To make place for his factory, selfish man began to cut trees. His factory spewed out smoke. The earth began to choke. The trees that still stood did whatever they could. They still gave us clean air, but the humankind cared. The industries kept producing, the forests kept producing, and now to our despair, we do not find clean air. Now let us understand this fact. Now is the time to act. The only way to be pollution free is to plant and nurture a tree. Let's make earth green again, plant trees in every terrain. Let us unite and regain clean air and abundant rain. I was able to explain the importance of trees. Without trees, we will not be able to find any clean air. So instead of practicing deforestation, we should practice afforestation and reforestation. Very innovative. Jai Hindal, my name is Shivang Singh. I am from class 7th and today I will be taking science subject for our MDP project. So, our topic is also the role of forest in purification of the air. As you all know that forest plays an essential role in purifying the air we breathe. Of course, trees don't have lungs the way human beings do. They breathe or respire because of a process called photosynthesis. So, what is photosynthesis? A process in which all leaves and plants contain living cells that take in sunlight by capturing the sun's energy. The leaf cells gain the strength to decompose the sap supplied by the roots, thus providing the tree with nutrition. is known as photosynthesis. Not only does the leaf need light to decompose sap and transform it into food for the tree, it also needs air. Air is filtered by the tree and returned to the atmosphere. That is why we say that trees purify the air. As we know, air, water and soil are the elements essential to all life on the planet. For trees, nutrition comes from the soil and is transported by the water. From the roots to the leaves. The leaves capture sunlight and air to transform the sap into sugar that will then be used to feed all of the tree's living cells. As part of the process, some of the air is filtered and returned to the atmosphere. Wasn't that interesting? And you know, there is one more interesting fact. You know, a one, one last tree can produce enough oxygen for four people for a whole day. It's interesting, now, nah? I know. Okay, so bye bye. I hope my information was informative for you all. Bye bye. Very interesting. Hello everyone, my name is Swastika, and today I will recite a slok on forest for the subject Sanskrit. Diction Chitva, Pashuhan Kritva, Rudir Kardamam, Yadevam Gamyate Swarge, Narka King Gamyate. It means after tearing down trees, massacring animals, after creating a bloody mire, if this is how heaven is attained, then hell is attained by whom? That's great. Forests are the sole provider of various benefits to mankind. Therefore, it's a responsibility to reduce the activity which leads to reduction of the forest land. We are blessed to have provided with a such a valuable asset. They are providing us with food, wood, and most importantly, air to breathe, and not forgetting other essential services. So, here we are at the end of our project, and in conclusion, I would like to say, Jeevan ka aadhar vriksha hai, dharti ka shingar vriksha hai, pran vayu de rahe sabhi ko aise param udhar vriksha hai. Excellent project to cover every subject. Claps for everyone. Thank you, sir. Keep it up.